Hi, and welcome to Alcohol Cats. This week we'll be talking about how to trim your cat's nails without death happening. You should trim your cat's nails for a variety of reasons. One, to keep their nails nice and healthy. Two, to minimize any damage done by scratching your furniture or while playing. And three, because indoor cats don't wear down their nails as much as cats that go indoors and outdoors. Um, so if your cats are mostly indoors, you should think about trimming their nails. Or not. Now, of course, some people choose to get their cat's nails trimmed either at a groomer or at a vet. But honestly, it's a lot easier to teach yourself how to do it. And since cats typically don't like traveling, taking them to a vet or a groomer is only teaching them to hate having their nails trimmed even more. In order to trim your cat's nails, you're gonna need a pair of nail trimmers and your cat's favorite treats. All right, let's go trim some cat nails. Step one, drink. This will help boost your self-esteem and minimize the pain. I'm ready. Step two. No things. Average cat will have four claws on its front paw and then the dew claw on the side. They have four toes on the back feet. Polydactyl cats are cats that have more than five claws on the front and four in the back. They sometimes even look like they have thumbs. What's cool about cat nails is that they're translucent so you can actually see the blood vessel and know exactly where to trim. Kitty. It's really important that you're not stressed out and your cat's not stressed out while trimming their nails. So try to make it a pleasurable experience for both of you. Start by just giving your cat something it likes, like a good pet. Treats also help. The easiest way to trim your cat's nails is with little to no restraint. More restraint, such as wrapping them in a towel or scruffing them down, is only going to cause more stress for your cat. So again, try to use as little as possible. If you have a friend to help you trim your cat's nails, that's great. But if you're a crazy cat lady like me, you may not have any friends. So it's important to try to learn how to do it yourself. Once you have your cat sitting on your lap facing away from you, get your nail trimmers in hand. Gently lift your cat's paw and push on its pads to release the nails. Then just trim as quickly as possible while maintaining accuracy. Don't forget the dew claws. If you have a young cat or kitten, or just a very easygoing cat, make sure that when you're doing some good cuddle time that you're playing with their paws. This desensitizes them to your touch, and then they won't put up as much of a fight when it comes time to trim their nails. Some cats don't need their back nails trimmed because they wear them down naturally just by running and jumping. However, you should still take a look at them, as some cats aren't as good at wearing them down. If you need to trim your cat's back nails, just gently lift up the back foot and trim them. Good job, Orla. And again, after your cat's done a good job, give him a treat. Now, it's okay if your cat struggles a little bit, but if it starts to get way too stressed out, just let it go. You'd rather get one or two nails trimmed at any given time than try to force your cat to endure all of them. Now, if you're anything like me, some of your cats you didn't get as kittens, so you never really had the opportunity to desensitize their paws. Still, not all hope is lost. Again, just make it a pleasant experience, as much as possible, using treats and love. Treats and love. If your cat isn't great at having its nails trimmed, and you're not great at trimming them, try to find a friend who has an easygoing cat for you to practice on. Because once you're faster at trimming the nails, it'll definitely make the experience a lot easier. Now you may be thinking, Liz, this is all good and well, but my cat's a crazy psycho. Well, not to fear, one of my cats used to be a crazy psycho, too. Smirnoff. 
you have a crazy psycho cat like I do, try to find a flat surface like a desk or a table so that his head can be above the desk and the nails that you're trimming are below the desk. And then have a buttload of treats. But his head goes above the table while I trim his nails underneath. so bad, Smirnoff did a great bang up job and you didn't die. Well, that's because it's progressed over time. It's gotten better. Yay! It used to be that I took Smirnoff to the groomer until he bit them, and then I took him to the vet where they would hog tie him down, um, and uh, so that was no good. And uh, now I can trim his nails. True story. And we're done! I just trimmed 30, 4, 8. I just trimmed 62 cat nails! <laughs> Don't forget to reward your cats because they're the ones that put up with you every day. The videos you put on the internet, all those Instagram photos.